welcome to my channel, Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if this is your first time stopping in and clicking on one of my videos, I appreciate you giving me a shot. I hope you enjoy what you hear and see. And if you are returning from a previous video, as always, thank you for your continued support. <clears throat> we are here for a kit up, but before we get to that, I do have a friend mail here from oh, my friend Jack. Diamond Painting with Jack. If you guys are not familiar with Diamond Painting with Jack, she does have a YouTube channel. She's the sweetest lady in this world. And I swear, Jack, we are going to meet one day. <laughs> and we're going to hang out. And we're going to diamond paint. And we're going to go eat. And maybe I'll take one of your exercise classes and you can kick my butt. <laughs> um, but I also have this mug here she had sent to me from Oklahoma. Um in honor of Jack. And I just put a sheet of paper over like addresses and stuff because I just wanted to show you how cute she decorated the box. Um, yeah, I was totally not expecting this. In fact, uh, when Bob, Bob had gotten it from the mail out front and I, I guess I must've been at the gym or something. He says he told me and I don't, I don't remember him telling me, but he put it in my craft room. And because I, we've been so preoccupied with Moogie, I've spent very, very little time in here. And, you know, when I would come in here, I would just throw down a couple drills <laughs> and run back out. Um, but things have gotten better. We can talk about that during the kitten chat. Um, so I am starting to find I have a little more time. Um, and Bob has been... Uh, I, that first week was just really, really tough guys. Just so tough. I just, I don't even know. It was a blur of poop, pee and sleepless nights and just a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of learning on our part. But anyway, so I did not know, did not see it. And then I stumbled on it. I came in here to clean up a little bit and I was like, what is that? It's huge. I'm like, how did I not see this? I have boxes everywhere. So, um, you know, I'm not the, the most organized at this moment. But anyway, Jack, thank you so much. You did not have to get me anything. I truly appreciate you. And it is May 6th. Today is May 6th. It's Monday. I worked last night on Cinco de Mayo. I forgot it was Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> but the the people had a party. All my coworkers had a party. I couldn't partake because I'm doing this fitness thing. So I couldn't eat any of this stuff, but it all looked good. They had a good time. Um, and the night before, you know, I had my brother's uh, 50th. So a lot of things been happening, but it's May 6th. It's Monday. Um, I came home from work today. I had a couple hours of sleep. Well, first I let Bob go to sleep first because he has to go back to work. And I stayed up with the, with the puppy. And then I put her in the crate because we are trying to crate train. Thank you to everyone who had recommended that. And I am going to get into more detail about that as well. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm running on a couple hours of sleep right now. Bob's uh, gone back to bed. I went to the gym and here we are. It's nighttime and I'm hoping to get this video out by tomorrow. But Let's get into this box, guys, and then we'll then, and then after we do this, we will do a kit up together. Um, don't ask me why I'm not prepared. Don't do it. Okay. Look, guys, look at the, the different um, duct tape that she has. And I did my own nails and so, man, but this is gel. I did it for my brother's 50th. Okay. Oh, Jack, you're so sweet. Guys, head over. I'm obviously going to have her linked down below, but go over and show her some love. She loves diamond painting. I 
I don't think we live too far from each other. Wait, what am I talking about? I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Ohio. <laughs> Because Ohio is one state over from me. Oklahoma. I don't even know where that is on the map. I love to show how ignorant I am on my channel. I love to give all my uh, secrets away. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to find that. I just... Um, oh, back in. I thought I thought that um blade broke off and flung somewhere. I was like, um, I think it's very sharp, and I don't want to like step on it. Moogie's not allowed in here, and she's probably not going to be allowed in here for like a couple years <laughs> until she's trustworthy. Because. Honestly, I, I, you know, have, I have low shelves, and I'm not, let me get scissors, I, 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 I'm not doing this very well. I have low sh shelves, and I'm not, um, I'm not gonna, you know, move everything off my shelves. I don't even know where I would move it all to. Diamond painting kits on a low shelf. Okay. I have my print. I have a lot of cords on the floor. You know, for my light pad and my phone. And just things that I can't. Oh my goodness. Here's a card. Kimba. Thank you, Kim. Just can't thank you enough for all you've done. You're such a giving person, and your caring and thoughtfulness are appreciated more than you'll ever know. Love, Jack. Happy Nurses Week. Oh, my gosh. Jack. Thank you. Happy Nurses Week. Jack is a nurse, too. She works in IR. And, um, yeah. Thank you, Jack. Happy Nurses Week to you, too. You're gonna make me cry. So, just gonna start pulling stuff out. Oh, a tumbler? It's a coffee mug. A truly great nurse is hard to find, difficult to part with, and impossible to forget. Oh. Thank you. This is so cute. I love it. I'm going to take it to work and use it, you know, so my coffee doesn't get cold on my desk. And, oh, I guess I could use it also as a, for cold drinks. Very cool. I love it. We have, oh my goodness, we have an art dot. Oh, it's the rose. It's advanced. Look at that rainbow rose. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll open this. Wow, thank you. Oh, what size is it? Does it tell you? Well, we'll do a whole unboxing of that. We'll, we'll do a whole unboxing of that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to let the sock gremlin get these. I have a sock gremlin in my sock drawer. Oh, Woodstock. Guys, I low-key had a um, crush on Linus growing up. <laughs> Just admitted that I did. These are so cute. They're the peanuts. Snoopy. We got Snoopy in his red doghouse. Um, this is this is no, this is not Lucy. Is this Lucy? No. 
It's not Peppermint Patty. She's the one that always, there's Charlie Brown. She's the one that always took the um, football away from Charlie Brown. What's her name? Why, oh, why is it escaping me? Um, hmm, I gotta, I'm gonna have to look that up. It's not Peppermint Patty. Oh, no, wait, isn't Peppermint Patty the one? I'm getting confused now. And here's Charlie Brown again. Be fierce. How cute. These are super cute. Thank you. There's something wrapped up in here. Oh my gosh. How did you know I needed a pair of these? I literally just left my scissors in a room and I lost them. Thank you. These are bandage scissors. If you're not in healthcare, then, um, you know, they have a, a protective tip so you don't, when you go underneath the bandage, you don't cut the skin. Thank you. They're paramount. Like, you need scissors. And they have little llamas on them. <laughs> I love it. You know what? I have had this before. This is from Bed Bath and uh, no Bath and Body Works, Bed Bath and Beyond. They're closed. Japanese cherry blossom, and I loved it. I wish I could let you guys smell it. Oh yeah, I had it in my shower too. Oh, I love this. Thank you. That's a great scent. Oh. Oh, the verbena and cream. Wait a minute. There's a little, let me get that off. Um, so I had said my favorite lotion was um, um, by this company. Is it Donna's? Goat Milk Skin Care. And I, I heard that the pear was really good. Um... And I like the water, the sea water and lilies or something. Oh, this smells good too. This stuff smells so good. They have, oh, oh, that is so refreshing. That's what they are. They're very refreshing and they just wake you up. I love them. Oh, I love that smell. Thank you. Oh, more Japanese cherry blossom. This is hand sanitizer. We all need to wash our hands. Ooh, this is another one. Roseberry. Now, I can't put two on, but I do want to smell it. Oh, that, that smells sweet. With a hint of rose. Love it. I wonder, Jack, did you ever smell the one... Uh, either the pear or the other one. <laughs> oh, this is cute. This is a badge holder and it says trauma queen. I have worked in trauma. I wasn't like a, a staff nurse there, but I've had to go to trauma for overflow and on like when I, um, when we had too many nurses and they were sure, you know, they would, they would float us to trauma. So I have worked in trauma. I've worked in step, step down and then even the trauma ICU. In fact, I don't know if I've ever told this story, but I, yeah, I had to work. I, I'll tell you guys that story. I had to work in trauma my first week off orientation. It was pretty crazy. Oh, scrubbers. How do you know I like all this stuff? Do I, I guess I talk about it, huh? <laughs> but if you, if you, are, you know, Koreans, they like to scrub the skin. When I was little, my, we were just talking about this. When I was little, my mom would get the Korean scrubber and scrub my skin in the bath until I cried. And she'd be like, look at all this dirt. And I'm like, dirt skin. <laughs> she would laugh. She's like, no, it's dirt. I'm like, no, it's not. You just took all my skin. Oh, look how cute this bag is. It's like, 
uh, spider webs. And we got some Hello Kitties. If you guys know anything about Jack, then you know she loves Hello Kitty. Yes, coffee is always a good idea, 100%. Coffee is magical. I agree. I love coffee. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I honestly think coffee should be my middle name. I might have to legally change it. Ooh. I have seen these before. I've never tried one, though. Kettle cooked with real cream and butter. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Dark chocolate and sea salt caramel. Mmm, these sound delicious. Thank you. And you know what? They probably go so perfect with black coffee. Love it. Thank you, Jack. Jack, this was so incredible. I, I can't thank you enough. You did not have to do this. But happy Nurses Week to you, too. I'm, I'm going to put everything in here. Oh, we're going to open this. We'll go ahead and do an unboxing. And we'll take a look at the rainbow roses. And, uh, give me one second. I'm just going to package this up real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Let's take a look at this. So, our dot has diamond paintings now. And they're branching out. And I'm sure they're going to get more of them. They offer them in beginner, advanced, and pro. So this is an advanced. Um, when you go up from beginner to advanced and advanced to pro, they're larger and they have more ABs. I don't think they changed the number of colors, but they changed the number of ABs in the kit is what I've noticed. So this one is an advanced. Give me a second. Okay. So they come in these great cardboard tubes. Here is their toolkit. And again, they supply you with everything you need. They give you this cute little tray. And the more that you get, you can hook them and you can have multiple colors going at once. They hook into each other. One has a male and a female end. And yeah, you can have a like a row of different colors in trays. They give you stickers. And basically, I think that this is black. And then you fill it in with whatever colors you want. So it looks like we have a crown and then a diamond. Little fun project that you can do with your extra drills. They give you a washi. This is really pretty. It almost looks like... Um, the leaves of a rose flower, doesn't it? So it kind of matches really nice. They give you a glitter basic pen with a brass tip and a squishy for comfort. It comes with this three or four, I think it's a three, multi-placer. And then one little tab of wax. There is plastic on both sides. So make sure you lift one side up before you try to stab your pen in it because my nails, I did them on Saturday and they're already starting to lift because I'm not a professional. <laughs> and yeah, so there's, there's this on each side. So just take one off, leave one on and jab through. So that is the toolkit for the art dot inside the tube. That's what it looks like. We have the canvas wrapped around. In the middle, we have the drills here. And we have a sticker sheet. So it was wound tight because it was in a tube. I'm just going to roll it backwards just to help it lay flat faster. Here is our sticker sheet. It's a full sticker sheet, so you can cut out the rows. Um, and the fun thing they do with their stickers is they put it in rainbow if it's an AB. So there's three ABs in this specific kit. And as far as number of colors, there are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, 39. It is a 50 by 35 centimeter. And that's the image. So look at those pretty colors. And here it is, guys. 
So don't worry about the crinkling. This is very thin, so it's going to have a little more of that going on. I'm going to try to get out some of it so you can see the image better. There you go. So don't take your cover sheet off all at once if you're new to diamond painting because you're just going to have issues. I'm just trying to get the some of the wrinkles out. I'm not going to be able to get all of the wrinkles out. There. I think that... that let you read it a little more. I have an overhead light on, so I'll just pull it up. Wow, that is so pretty. Look at all those different shades. We have the red, the green, the yellow, the blue, the purple, the orange in there. Gorgeous. So it's our rainbow rose. Um, we have a legend on each side here. 39 colors. Let's look at the symbols. One through nine. So they have one through nine. And then they have a lot of letters and then some basic symbols. Question mark. Here's that fancy Y that we see. The and sign. Not that many. A star. The pound sign. And a heart. That's pretty much it. The rest are letters and then numbers. Right? Here is the drill field. So it is, they are rounds, but you can see there's no guide circles. It's just a lighter circle around the symbol. And it's very clear. We have art dot at the top in the middle. We have the schematics down here, the size round. This is how many drills you'll place when you finish it, 21,948. And then, customer service and how to contact them. Very cool. This is, it is felty. It is a nice thick canvas. It does have scalloped edge and there is a little shimmer to it. All right guys, let's take a look at these drills. Okay, so nine, three, nine, two, four, six of them right off the bat. Do we have three ten? No three ten. So it's the nine three nine is going to be over here. I get you. Yep, it's the A. So it's like most of the dark area. So we have two, four, six bags of nine three nine, and they put them separate. That's pretty cool. So we got one fifty one, one fifty eight, two oh eight, three hundred, three oh seven. 336, 469, 552, 601, 922, 742, 777, 791. Oh, she's crying. Hold on. I don't know if you guys guessed, but it's the next day. So, um, yeah. Move, uh, okay. Well, let's just get through this unboxing and then I'll grab my stuff that we're going to kit up. Because I don't think I even told you what that was yet. And then, um, yeah, we'll chat. So two, four, six of the 939s. I don't think I got very far. I didn't look to see. I got a train here. 8 to 93, 900, 902, 906, 938, 947, 970, 986, 987, 995, 9, or 3755. Here's our third AB. It's this blue. Love that. 3326, 3371, 3608, and 3865. All right, guys, real quick, let's just see where these ABs go. So our first AB is that canary yellow. 
the 307 and it is number five on the chart here. And so immediately it's popping out at me, of course, the yellow, how can we not see that right away all along here? Um, the next is the orange 922. I'm sorry, someone's cutting their lawn now. Where was that one? It was on the same train, I thought. I guess I'm going to close these windows, huh? It was on the same train, but it's not this one. Wasn't it on the same train? Hmm. Wait, are we missing a train? Here's one. Here's one. Okay, wait. What's happening? Um, nine. I know I said it's this pretty orange. Oh, here it is. I feel like I'm going crazy. Here it is. This orange. Okay, and that is H. And I can immediately see it along the edges of this petal. Here, 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 and here, here. Pretty much everywhere you see orange. There's not very many other packets of orange, so it's a lot of the AB. And then 37.55, which was that blue. No problem finding that one. And it is the heart. And we see it right here and right here. Here and then in here. And that's pretty much it. Those really pop out. So yeah, here, 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 and here. So this is gonna look really pretty. It'll work up pretty quickly. There's quite a bit of color blocking, as you can see. Color blocking is when there's a lot of the same symbol in a small area and you don't have to do a lot of color changes, right? So yeah, thank you so much, Jack. And I hope everybody in Oklahoma is safe. I texted her. Um, I don't watch the news, but I had the TV on for Newsy, and of course, they talked about the tornadoes in Oklahoma, and, you know, I did touch base with her, but wow, that is scary. Apparently, we get tornadoes in New Jersey, it's another thing that, so, if you have listened to all of my videos... and I feel like I owe you something. <laughs> I don't know how you stand me that much, but no, um, let me get this back in the bag. Oops. If you have listened to all of my videos, then you know there's quite a few things about New Jersey that I was not aware of, even though I've lived here my entire life. Like one, I did not know we had coyotes in New Jersey. Go figure. Um, someone had commented that if there are no wolves in your state, then you have coyotes. That's interesting. Um, what's interesting is we do have a wolf sanctuary in New Jersey, not very far from where I live. Uh, we used to know someone who volunteered there and he was telling us how, yeah, they would throw a deer carcass over to feed the wolves and there wouldn't be one bit of it left when the wolves were done. And he was like, yeah, you guys should come for a feeding one day. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, no. So, um, yeah, there's... But apparently, I guess we have a sanctuary, but we don't actually, like, they're not native here. Um, so, yeah, I found out we had coyotes in New Jersey, and that surprised me. And then I found out we had earthquakes in 2011. Shocked about that. Um, we just had one a few weeks ago here, and I knew what it was because of living through one in 2011. Um, but that's when I was like, huh, here? 
And yeah, and then when I was working at the other hospital, there was like a tornado warning and I'm like, what you talking about, Willis? And yeah, and then a couple of girls came in and they're like, oh my God, the tornado touched down in front of us. I was like, oh, so they were serious? <laughs> I was like, I thought they were just lying to us because like, what? <laughs> so yeah, apparently, oops. Apparently we have tornadoes, we have earthquakes, and we have coyotes in New Jersey. Sounds like such a lovely place to come visit. Um, okay. Uh, so let me get my stuff. Oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm kidding up. My next round, my next round is going to be... Bluebirds Home Sweet Home by Craftably. I think that this is going to be so cute on my porch. Um, you know, it's definitely spring slash summer and it says Home Sweet Home on it. So I need to get that cardinal, that wintry scene from Star or Down. Um, so yeah, obviously this is no longer available. I got this um, during one of their uh, Hey, We're Not Doing Too Hot and like last ditch effort to save craftably they actually made it through that hump um and then ended up getting snagged in another so yeah craftably is no longer um hold on okay i had to shut my win windows it's so nice out i like really wanted to uh, bask in the sun in here no i'm just kidding i just wanted to air out my house but it's it is what it is anyway so yeah, and my nails, every time I every time I turn this camera on, I have less of my nail polish on. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, you might have this in your stash. Um, maybe you can get it in a D stash. I haven't really seen anybody selling their craftables, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I got this one and another one. It's like their sister canvases, but that one's uh, definitely winter and like Christmas. So we're gonna do this one next. This is gonna be my next round project. So again, it is Bluebird's Home Sweet Home and it's by Synthony Frenetti. Okay, um, and I did do a full unboxing of this, so we're not gonna go ahead and do all of that. Um, after I unbox my canvases, I do put everything back, everything back, everything that's in the, everything. I don't keep any of it out or put any of it away any other place so that if I choose to de-stash, which I don't see myself doing because I'm a hoarder. You heard it here first, people. I'm always like, but what if I want to do it 20 years from now? I'm going to keep it just in case. <laughs> so another... Uh, I really liked Craftably, and I'm so sad that, yeah, I'm sad. Um, they, I'm not going to add any special drills because Craftably knocks it out of the park when it comes to special drills. You don't need to enhance their canvases unless you're just planning to do all of it special drills. They have in this kit two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 ABs and two, four, six rhinestones and then two special drills. So 16, 17, 18 of the 53 colors is special drills. So yeah, we're not gonna add any. Um, they killed it. And so I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I'm super excited. Um, this is what it looks like. It's on the smaller side, which I need, and it's round, which I need in my life. I need all of these things in my life right now. I have two very, very large confetti heavy squares going. And so this is gonna be a fresh of breath air. Fresh of breath. A breath of fresh air. <laughs> Oh man, Moogie is like sucking my brain cells out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm blaming everything on that dog. I love her so much though. Okay, 
So here's the drills. Look at all the stickers they give you. I love that about this. So they put one here and they put, oh no, I did that. <laughs> Never mind. They put one here. They put one here. They put one here. Um, so yeah, we're going to kit this bad boy up and it is 53 colors. You know what that means? Wait, should I use my craft mates or should I use something else? What do you guys think? What to do? What else do I have? Um, I have, my, I have both of my Elizabeth Wards available. Um, hmm. I can use the craft meats. I'm going to use the craft mates because I just love these so much, guys. I just love my craft mates. And then if I have one with a lot of like a, a larger canvas, I'll use my Elizabeth Wards. Yeah, my craft mates, we're going to use that. Um, I'm not sure about these stickers. How do you guys come on and off of here? Wow, they're long. We're gonna have to go this way? I might have to cut something off. Oh no, they come off quite easily. So we're not gonna washy. Because it's unnecessary. Um, and we got blue flowers in this and birds. I'll have to look at my washi and see if I have anything. I don't think I have anything with birds, which would have been so perfect, but I'm pretty sure I don't have anything with birds. And the washi that came with this is this, which would actually look really cute. Hmm. I might have to use that. And then this, which is definitely not what I'm gonna use. Okay, I might have to use this. It actually matches really nicely. Okay, so let me get my scissors. I'm gonna go get a few things and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got, I, I think I got everything I need. Oh, I am a broken record, aren't I? I have my um, fabric softener squares. Uh, dryer sheet squares. I have a tray. I have my blunt ended tweezers here. And yeah, let's, let's get, let's get to hitting up here. So these are train style. And it looks like they're numbered, which is nice. So here's 10 to 19. There's 20. They're in order. So here's the first train that I'm going to use. 1 through 10. There's 34. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Four, thirty-five, blah blah blah, forty, and then these. All right, I'm gonna have to cut these. I'm gonna have to cut the one, two, three, the the this column here off because they're too long for this, which is fine. Um, I like how big the, um, what is it? The symbols are on it. So it doesn't look like there's any. Um, Cause I could put them this way, but I'm not, I'm not looking at the, uh, the symbols that way. 
So always try to make it easier for yourself than harder. So I look at the symbols this way, therefore I am going to cut them off. All right, so number one, 301. Let's see, any static? Nope. My windows are closed. Oh, that was the truck. The lawn care guy is leaving. Adios, amigo. Um, number two. So I hope everybody is having a good week so far. Um, let me give you a movie update. We're doing much better. So uh, a couple of my subs had said, you know, let me recommend crate training. We always intended to crate train. We got a crate uh, before we picked her up and we got one that's gonna, that she can grow into. It has a divider. Um, always had the intentions of crate training. Oh, wait a minute. I'm doing this wrong because I like to put things in order. And one, oh, this is gonna be difficult. One through five is not one through five here. So, so um, let me see. I'm gonna start with a new one and then I'm gonna pour those in. See, work smarter, not harder. So number one is 30 and it's right here and it will only take one. Let's get the 30 off. Is 3766. Go like this. Um, but here's where I was very, so, you know, I was very ignorant when it came to training dogs. Now, first of all, in my defense, I've only ever had a pug, okay? Um, as an adult, as someone who is a responsible adult trying to train a an animal, I've only had a pug, and pugs are super easy. Uh, I never, I, I did crate train Soju in the sense that she was comfortable being in the crate, um, and when we first got her, obviously we put her in the crate when we left the house, but she always slept with us. I don't know how. She was like two pounds, but, um, yeah, I, from day one, she was my baby. And I always thought that if people put their dogs in the crate overnight, it was because they did not want their dog in their bed and they wanted a place for it to sleep. I always thought that it was because like, either they or someone in their family didn't want dogs in the bed. And I was like, I will never be that person. I will never put my dog in a crate overnight. The dog will always sleep with me. But I didn't understand that that was part of the training process. So this is where my ignorance is coming to light here, guys. I am showing you all of my flaws. Um, I, when I said, you know, yes, we're definitely going to crate train Moogie. My idea of crate training was we're going to make sure she's comfortable in the crate so that when we leave the house and no one's there to watch her, she has a place to be safe. But I am now learning <laughs> that's not the only time you put the dog in the crate. Okay, point taken. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't, can't be good at everything, guys. <laughs> so I go to Bob and I'm like, so, um, you, uh, you know that people put the dog in the crate until they're like trained. Uh, oh, number 15. See, I cut the thing off and I didn't get 70, 733. Number 15, let me get this. I'm gonna mess this up. Um, put their dogs in the crate overnight uh, until they're potty trained. And he was like, yeah. So Bob knew, 
I don't know why we we didn't start doing it right away. I, I don't know. Maybe because he knew that I wanted to sleep with the dog. I don't know. But so anyway, um, we are now starting to implement that. We have a lot of things working against us. The main thing working against us is our schedule. Our schedule is the pits. Like we both work overnights. Um, and, you know, when we both work the same night, you know, then we have to rely on my daughter. And then it's like three people trying to train her. And, you know, everybody's doing things kind of differently. So it gets a little complicated. Um, my daughter tends to stay out late. I mean, she's 22. She's living her life. Um, so it's, it can be a little, a little, um, challenging. So, you know, it being, we're only on week two here. We're only on week two. So we're, but I, and I think at this point where we've made monumental strides, that first week was just a cluster of all the bad things. Like we didn't know what we were doing. Moogie didn't know what we expected of her. Um, you know, it was just, you know, all the bad things were happening. So, um, I'm going to cut this because stickers are peeling off. There we go. Let's just try to, all right. So where are we at? One, two, three. Is there a four? Is there a four? There is a four. Number 22, let's find 22, um, it's one bag, it's right here, okay, so um, yeah, we had a lot of kinks to work out, I think we've worked out those kinks, last night Bob slept, I mean Bob worked and I was home, and um, Moogie slept in her crate all night long, and um, I think we did very well. Uh, you know, she did cry a bit every time she went back in the crate. Um, and then she settled down and she slept and she had zero accidents so far today. Zero. Well, that's kind of a lie. Um, she had like, kind of, like she started to go in front of the front door though. So, uh, she knew you know, she's getting, I mean, she's so smart, guys. I mean, I, I cannot express to you how smart this dog is. Um, her intelligence level is up, up, up there. I can see it. Uh, I, she's got this brightness in her eyes. She is super smart. I'm really excited about the things that we can do with her. But, you know, I think... She just didn't know how to tell me she, we have a bell on the door and I, she went to the front door and I think she just had to go. And so she started to squat. I saw her starting to head to the front door. So I immediately started to walk towards the front door with her and um, she started to squat before I could even like scoop her up and just like, you know, a little bit came out and I grabbed her and I took her outside and she finished outside. So that was the only accident. And I mean, you know, as soon as she starts to even show any kind of sign that she might have to do something, I just snatch her up. I, I say, ring the bell and I put her towards the bells and she'll hit it with her nose or her paw. It's funny, she'll hit it. And I'll say, okay, we go outside and, um, Bob saw her do it and he's like, did she just hit that with her paw? I'm like, yep, she sure did. Um, so there is no five because there's an S. I just saw the S and I was like, oh wait, there's a five. No, there's no five because of the S. And that's a good thing because see, I just thought it was a five. Um, so I just went one, two, three, four. I'm putting these on crooked and it's going to really irk me so I'm, I'm gonna fix them real quick because 
that makes me feel better. Okay. And then number 38 we need. Number 38, it's our AB. It's our canary yellow AB. And it's right here. So, um, yeah, she's starting. It's starting to come together. You know, I. that being said, I expect that she's going to still have accidents. Um, she's a puppy and she's still in training and but I think that you know we we are doing really 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 good so I like neutralized all the floors like I, I've mopped multiple times and I've taken this like neutralizing spray sprayed it mopped I sprayed it on our carpets vacuumed multiple times so I'm trying to get that smell out of the 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 house so you know she knows it's to go outside so yeah i think we've we've come a long way so there's a couple things that another thing we did wrong like is we need 27. another thing that we did wrong is we started with a training lead which is a long long lead and honestly um it's more of a lead to train like how to recall and stuff like that and um you know we were watching all these training videos and they always a lot of times they had them on these leads and i don't know what made us think oh this is what we need to start with and so she was having way too much freedom um and that's where bob came in because bob had to get her used to the short leash and he did a wonderful job of that. He did it in a day because when I went out there with her, because I taught her how to heal. I'm telling you guys, this dog is so smart. I'm going to take a video of it. I, I I have to take a video of it. I just always forget my phone when I go outside. But um, I taught her how to heal. So I would like walk away from her and with this 20 foot lead, I would walk 20 feet away from her. And then I would say, Moogie, heal. And she would dash towards me and she would come and sit near my right side um so i taught her how to heal on the right side um okay we're done all the letter uh, the numbers that was we did one two three four six seven nine um we're going to go into the abc's so we have an a here capital a um do we have a lowercase a no. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And this is one of our rhinestones. Number 51. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful rhinestone. Look at that. Looks like glass. Okay. Go ahead and put that in there. Um, so... When I, when we decided, we were like, okay, um, yet again, we made another mistake. We have to now stop using this long lead and giving her so much freedom and like really just trying to have more control. Um, I went out there with her on the short lead and she was just so confused because, you know, here I was training her and training her on this long lead and now... You know, I'm like not letting her go here, not letting her go there. And she just completely shut down. She just like laid down, wouldn't do anything. She stopped following commands. Um, she stopped healing. She stopped sitting. She stopped doing all the things. She was just like, I don't know what you expect of me. Like, I'm so confused. You're not the same person I was working with yesterday. And so I'm just going to lay here and you, you try to figure it out. <laughs> And I don't blame her. Like, I don't blame her. I was like, you know, I went inside and I'm like, okay, we're changing too many things. Like, um, but so he worked with her the next day and he totally just used the short lead. And so she was a different dog by the time I got to her and I started going out and taking her out. She was very comfortable on the short lead and she knew when she got to the end of it and she chugged and we weren't going anywhere, um, that, that was it. Like, then she turned around and, you know, was no, there was no pushback. There was no confusion. So he did a wonderful job of basically retraining her. 
that she's not going to always have all of this freedom. So that happened. All right, I'm using the scent sign as C because there is no C, and that is number 10. So it is this one. Um, but yeah, it's been a work in progress. Like it's mostly because, you know, we've started off on the wrong foot multiple times and we're figuring it out, you know, and luckily she's so smart and so adaptable at this point. Um, she's kind of like, okay. I got a couple of idiots over here. <laughs> I got to give them like a little little leeway cuz they clearly don't know what they're doing and so she's been working with us. <laughs> um today is our vet appointment. Super excited about that. I have so many questions and I'm really hoping that after the vaccines that she receives today, they're going to say yes, she can meet other dogs and all of that. Oh, I have this sideways Anarchy A. Now I got to move things over again. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's been a work in progress, guys, but we're getting there. So we had very little accidents yesterday. Um, so far, just that one start of a bowel movement in the front. Um, but I think she was trying to tell me she had to go out and I just wasn't fast enough. And honestly, um, I had a lot of cleaning to do because I had, I had my aunts coming over and the house looked like someone ransacked it. Um, so yeah, we put, I put all of the sleeping things away. No more sleeping in the living room. No one's going to be sleeping in the living room. Um, that's going to be where she sleeps and... Yeah, I think that we're on the right track now, you know. I got a camera to set up next to her crate. Um, in case, you know, we're both at work, we can just check in on her, make sure everything's okay. Um, so that came yesterday, I still have to hook it up, but yeah. She, so today, last night, like I said, she was in the crate, no accidents in the house. Um, every time she went out, she did pee. My daughter came home and she actually, actually was like, you know, I'll, I'm going to be up for a while. So I'll go ahead and take her out. You don't have to wake up. You can sleep. So then she took her out at like the four o'clock and then six o'clock I got up and I took her out. And then, you know, we started our day. I fed her. A, B, C. Okay, do we have a D? No D. A, B, C, D, E. We have an E. We have a capital E. And I don't see a lowercase E. Do we have an F? No F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We have a G. Okay, so 31. Here is 31. So, yeah, I, I feel really good, really good. Um, on Friday, we were feeling very defeated. It was a bad day. There, you know, there was a lot of, um, we would take her out and spend a long time with her outside. Long time, like 45 minutes, an hour, nothing. As soon as we come inside, she would go to the bathroom. So, A, B, C, D, E, F. G. She hasn't been doing that. So I don't know. My son slept over. Um, I don't know. And then his girlfriend came over during the day, um, both days. And I don't know if it was just a lot of lot going on. And it was like, you know, too much excitement for her going on in the house. And I, I just don't know. So we haven't experienced that since that day. Um, E, F, G, H. So hoping that we don't experience that again, because that was, that was so frustrating. I mean, everybody was just like, 
what the heck, you know? Like, what is going on? I mean, it happened over and over and over again. It wasn't just like two times, no. It was multiple times. So like Bob would take her out and he would spend an hour with her outside. She would do nothing. So then I'm like, let me take her out. I'd take her out, spend like an hour with her outside, come back, nothing, she'd pee on the floor. You know, and then my son did it and she'd come in and it was just, oh no, 52. Oh, my aunts are here. I'm going to go and um, I will be right back. This is one of those big gems though. This is 52. It's going in here and I'll see you in a minute. Okay. It is hours and hours later, <laughs> of course, um, because my aunts came and we hung out and then after they left, we had to take Moogie to her first vet appointment and um yeah, it went really well. So, uh, hold on. It's like 80 degrees out and I'm cold. So I have two jackets on. <laughs> I mean, a jacket and a sweater. I don't know why I'm so cold. Okay, so be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. There's no I. I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Well, that's not a J, that's a staple. <laughs> Aha, I thought I saw a J earlier. Um, number 44, it's the AB here. Let's go ahead and cut that out. So yeah, we take her to the vet and oh my God, the, the whole office went absolutely nuts for her. And I mean, every, everybody was coming back to meet her and then they were stealing her. They're like, you know, I'll be right back. And <laughs> Bob's like, just make sure you bring back the, the, the same one. Um, but you know, it's so funny. I didn't realize how great of a temperament she had. Oh, 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 we're making a mess. Wow. These are so pretty. They're like on this, they're on the white and wow, that AB coating is really nice. Um, <clears throat> so what was I saying? Um, so he, la yesterday my brother stopped by and his wife and their, their baby and, um, they met Moogie for the first time and he was like, I He's like, wow, her temperament is so good. She's so good. And he's, the first time it made me think, I was like, oh my God, you're right. She is like, I mean, she's a really good puppy. Like she gets the zoomies um, this morning, like after being in the crate all night, she got the zoomies and, you know, she was grabbing all her toys and flinging them around. Of course, she had slept pretty decently. JK. Go. number 20 um but uh you know she settles down quickly and she doesn't cry and bark she definitely does not have like anxiety or issues with anxiety i watch this guy um this this trainer i watch a lot of his videos and stuff and he said a good way to see if a puppy is you know, good, has a good temperament is to first like cradle it like a baby and see how it acts. If it's like wiggling all over the place, trying to get, to, then it, it has a little nutso in it. But if it just chills and lets you hold it like that, then you know you got a good dog. And then he said, then put the dog down and like drop something that's going to make a really loud noise without the dog seeing you do it and see how they react. If they like run and hide and like get all dramatic he said then you know you might have some anxiety issues but if it just gets startled and then recovers very quickly and he demonstrated with the dog that he had um and the dog literally like kind of jumped but then immediately was just like okay what what was that and then walked over and like started he, he used a metal bowl 
walked over and started sniffing it and like and pushing it with his nose he's like and and then he said even better yet if it recovers quickly and then you know goes investigates it he's like then you know you got a good your dog has a good temperament and she definitely is all those things because we've dropped things around her and she just like she'll just like jump a little bit and be like what is that and like come over and want to see what we're doing <laughs> what's all that noise jklm i did see an m number 19 so um but my brother was like wow she's got a great temperament and i started thinking i'm like you know what she does she is a really chill dog like um and then when we took her to the vet she was she was you know she didn't bark one time she was totally chill there was other dogs there she just looked at them um yeah it was awesome so she got one it was one poke so they put a, a few vaccines in one i can't remember what they were but one one was for kennel cough whatever that vaccine is l m n here's n um and then her distemper and and one and then one was an oral and i think that that had something to do with like dirty water in case like she licks dirty water or something Le Le i don't think it was lesionaires but it began with an l what am i doing <laughs> oh another ab um 40, 40. So yeah, she was awesome. And the, all of the girls at the office were coming back and like everyone had to come back and see her. OP. And um, hold her and pet her. And she was just so good. Number 17. Um, yeah, they absolutely adored her. And um, so they, they said, the doctor said, she's probably going to be a little tired today. She might not eat her dinner. She's been eating a lot, like a lot. Like we had to up her food and um, she is killing it. So we weighed her on Friday, this past Friday. We weighed her OPQ. There's no Q. Is there an R? U R no R S. Oh, there's an O. O P. You know what? Let me put the O in. Let me put the O. And because Yeah, it's not it looks more like an O than a circle, than just like a circle. Okay, um, but we weighed her on Friday and she weighed 10 pounds exactly. And today she weighed 11.6. So it's Tuesday today. Um, so in what, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So in five days, she gained a pound, 1.6 pounds. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yes, so supposedly, uh, according to this weight chart that I had looked up, she should average around 30 pounds by the end of three months. So she's already um, in her ninth week. So next Monday, she'll be 10 weeks. OPQ. We don't have a Q. We don't have an R. Oh no, we do have an R. See, I would have gone out of order again. Um, but, uh, so yeah, it's going to be like, it's supposed to be like almost a pound, like almost a pound a day. It's crazy. Not a pound a day, like basically 20 pounds in 
four weeks. So what's that? Five pounds a week. So right now she's at 1.6. So we'll see. We'll see what she weighs on Friday. 43 RS. Oops, 39. But yeah, it was a good visit. Only thing I'm really bummed about is the vet said that she is not fully protected yet and she won't be until she's um, 39. 39, I think um, 13 weeks. So I have an appointment for her in three weeks and she'll get another vaccine. And then I don't know if, where did I put the other part of the sticker? Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't see her. Oh my goodness, goofy girl. So, all right, now I'm starting to get warm. It's warmer in my craft room than it is my house. Um, so, S, T, there's a lots of T's. Okay, so where's the traditional T? Right here, number 11. Um, yeah, so she said, cause I, I said, what about if we know they're vaccinated? And she's like, the only thing is, is you don't know what they've been exposed to. So she said, I personally wouldn't. So I'm like, okay, well then I'm not. Um, and then asked her about that insurance and tomorrow we're, so we, there's, uh, here's the upside down T. Tomorrow we're supposed to start her flea and tick, um, which is a chew. I like that. 29, it's next guard. And um, her heartworm. She said, because I said, so give her this when we get home. And she's like, no, just because she just got, she's like, just give her a day because she just got all these vaccinations. Go ahead and give it to her tomorrow. So we'll start it tomorrow. Um, sideways T and, um, she, she gave us next guard, which is now, I guess the most popular flea and tick because she said that frontline isn't working as well. This is, um, we're looking for five. So apparently she said that, that the fleas and ticks have adapted because Frontline has been around for so many years and they've never changed their formula. And so it's not working as well. And they're seeing dogs coming in with ticks that have Frontline. So I actually Googled it and yeah, that's what I'm seeing in Google too. And you know, Google knows all. <laughs> All right, so I thought there was more than two T's. Let me just double check with my eyes here. Okay, no other T's. Q-R-S-T-U. And there is something that looks like a V, but it also can be, so number 16, it also can be considered an arrow and there's other ones that look like that going in different directions. So I think I'm gonna put those together. I think I'm gonna put it in here. Um, this is, I don't know. There's not one that looks like a V anyway. Um, w, no W. X, there is an X. So get this, number 35, right here. So yeah, great, great vet visit. I was 
um, anxiously waiting for that to happen. The girls were so funny. They're like, she's so perfect. And I think four of them were like, okay, I'm stealing her. <laughs> I'm taking her home. That's why. Go to bed. Why? Regular Y. 23. Um, so Bob went to work last night and then he came home and, you know, visited with my aunts and then came to the vet. He's such a proud daddy. <laughs> he was loving all the attention she was getting. He's like, that's my dog. <laughs> why? And then upside down, why? Um, yeah. So we didn't pick her because, you know, we were the last ones. We, she was um, the last pup left. And yeah, I think we got the best one. So happy with her. So chill. Today was is such a good day. She did have one accident. Um, well, besides that poop thing that I told you about, um, Bob gave her water while my aunts were here, and then we were talking, and no one took her out. <laughs> they just gave her water and acted like she wasn't a puppy that had a bladder the size of a acorn. <laughs> So yeah, she had an accident, but that was not her fault. 21. Um, but otherwise, she's been consistently going outside. So, eat all of her lunch. Let's see, why, 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 why? No Z. Okay, so now we have to think, put our thinking caps on. Um, let's start with these arrows. So this is 06. Six. Here. Bob's off, so we'll be able to tag team the potty breaks in the middle of the night. Tomorrow night, I work overtime. I picked up a little overtime. You know, it's, it, we go into the vet, and um, I'm going to get her started on pet insurance, and I've been we've been buying so many toys, and her food, her crate, seven. Um, oh, two of them. Let's see. Will it all fit in one? No wonder. Um, we're getting our house painted. That's happening soon because my... I'm surprised we haven't gotten dinged yet. Um, my craft room is white because they couldn't match our siding. And our siding is a different color. And so we were supposed to have it painted last year because um, our association does not like stuff like that. <laughs> and they never said anything to us. I was shocked. We were both shocked. But I'm 
doing the check mark because it kind of looks like the symbols similar. Number 34 right here. And um, so, you know, we're paying for that. So just picking up a little overtime to help with the bills. And the extra expenses. I'm working this Wednesday and next Wednesday. And I lost money because of the jury duty and um, my have taken off on Saturday for my brother's birthday. So this way I can make up what I've lost as well. Um, all right, we're going to do the corners. So here's a corner. Go nine. This is what I mean by corner. It is beautiful out today. It's actually in the 80s. And we have that pool for her. It's supposed to be in the 80s tomorrow too. But today is such a busy day. Oh, and I'm going to... Okay, so I went to the dermatologist last week. Because um, I had two moles on my leg that I, well, I thought they were moles. I was worried about. And they're scars. She looked at them and she's like, that's a, I don't know. She said some technical term for it. And I was just like, what's, I said, I, and then she's like, they're scars. And I was like, I was going to say, I got this from a bug bite. Bug bite. I mean, I said it, it happened after a bug bite. And she's like, Exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. They usually happen after bug bites. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it's like, it's just going to be here forever. And she's like, yep. Unfortunately, like it just overhealed. It got inflamed and overhealed and scarred over. And, um, but the other one, I, I swear, I thought that was a mole. I'm still surprised. And she said, it's the same thing. Uh, I remember the horrible bug bite of the first one and how much it hurt and how big it got, but that one, I am pretty surprised about. The second one, so that's all. I did a body sweep. I don't know, has anybody ever done that? So they look at, like, basically you're naked and they look at all of your body to see if you have any moles or anything that could be suspicious for, you know, cancer. Never had that done before, but um, yeah, so she did a body sweep. Everything was fine. Um, but I said to her, I, I do want to do the hair biopsy because I feel like it's not really growing back. Not like I thought it was. Or like it may be even further back. I don't know. I said, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm going to worry about this until I get a biopsy. So I'm getting the biopsy this week. Um, and apparently I can't bend over. I don't know for how long, but they said no bending over after the biopsy. They do a punch hole on my scalp. And then they have to do a few stitches, like two to three stitches. Apparently I can still wash my hair and all that, but, um, and style it as usual with the stitches in. So that's happening this week. Um, Definitely want to dye my hair before they do this though. Because <laughs> uh, I can't imagine putting hair dye on a wound. And I'm already starting to have some grays. So this is a busy week for me because today, you know, I had the, the, the breakfast and then the vet appointment. 
and I lost more nails. <laughs> and then um, uh, Wednesday I work, Thursday I have the dermatology appointment, and Friday I'm doing another stroke class for four hours, and then I work Saturday, Sunday. So it's a busy week for me. Usually I don't have pretty much anything happening, but yeah. Um, so wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Oh, I need to move this over. Glad I looked up because this is exactly this, but a different direction. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put in this last spot. And that's perfect. This is what I mean. Okay. So let's do lines. I'll do this line. Oops, 14. Gotta cut that off. Um, and guess what? Moogie is currently in her crate sleeping. So she said that the vaccine's gonna make her tired. And she slept the whole way home. And then she came in and she just sprawled out on the kitchen floor and fell asleep. And I was like, we really should put her in her crate. Because I just want her to like be in there for all her sleeps. So she gets very comfortable. And so we moved her in. Well, Bob moved her into the crate and closed the door. And she let out a couple whimpers but then settled down and went to sleep. I thought I just heard her. And um, he just went to sleep, so I, I am gonna keep an ear out for her, but. Another rhinestone. Really excited for this. It's gonna look so pretty on my porch. And we're gonna do this 42 AB. Yeah, so you know how I was saying there was no overtime because we had a low census and the hospital hasn't been busy. The hospital is still not super busy, but we, it, we, he, I feel bad for my boss because every time he thinks like he has enough night shifters, people leave. Like night shift is so hard to keep um, staff. You know, people either want to go to day shift, they just take the night shift position and wait for a day shift to open and then, or I don't know what it is about nights. People can't function. Both of my kids are night nighttime people and I think it's because when I was pregnant with them, I was up at night, especially my son. I worked in the photo cutting place and it was very loud, like so loud. Um, you, you, we weren't allowed to wear headphones, but if we were allowed to wear headphones, you wouldn't have been able to because you wouldn't have heard anything. It was so loud in that place. Um, with all the machines doing the, the cutting of the, the photos. It was like, tch, 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 like every machine. It was very loud in there. Some people wore earplugs. Um, and, you know, I worked, I started work at like 10. And was it 10? Yeah, and I would work sometimes until like 8 o'clock in the morning. Like, because we worked until until everything was done. And, um, you know, my son was in my womb. So uh, 
I would assume he, with it being so noisy, that he was awake a lot. And um, so he is really, I mean, he his, his job is a day shift job, but all grown up, he loved to be, he, he's, his schedule is, if he did not have his, a job, his schedule would be flipped like he was a night shifter. But because, you know, he's in IT and he works during the day, um, he, he does run a day shift schedule. And my daughter, I was a stay-at-home mom because I had my son still. Um, but I worked from home for a company doing some data processing and, um, I would have to be up really late at night finishing work cause I had deadlines and, you know, I'm like, I have a kid, I have my son and so I couldn't always do work during the day. I would have to wait until he was asleep and then I would have to work until it was done because I had, I had deadlines. And so I was up at night a lot when I was pregnant with her too. So I'm not surprised that she is also more of like a night person. Now she works in a restaurant and you know, she usually works till close, which means she's doesn't get home till like midnight, one o'clock in the morning. Ooh, we're done. Okay, so this is what we got. We have one, one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine. A, A, B, C, E, G, H. J, K, L, M, N, O, P. R S T T T U X Y Y Y and then we have the arrows pointing different directions and a check mark and then I did the corners and then what looks like different directions of a hourglass and then I have all lines and then the two staples, I call these staples, and then rounds and dots, and then just this U-turn. And that's it. Yeah, so we are all set to go. I'm not starting this right away, but it's been a minute since I kitted up a project. And once I decided this was gonna be the one, I was like, I'm gonna kit it up and have it ready to go. <laughs> So I might do that with my next square project um, as well. I don't know yet. I have to, I'm still debating. I actually have an unboxing that I have to do from Oraloa and I'm thinking it might be that one, but I'm not sure. All right, guys. That is all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out, one purple, one. <laughs> and if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Chemist Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Keep diamond painting. Love you, Jack.